Hello everyone and welcome back to episode 31 of The Road to 10,000. This is a pretty cool episode for a couple reasons. First off, I'm actually recording this live on stream, linked down below every time I uh, post a video. I'm here with a couple regulars who will be racing with me after they join in on the lobby. Second thing is this is actually going to be one entire month of daily uploads from yours truly, the Canadian Wi-Fi. Uh, started the series on August 1st and this is the 31st of August, 31st video. Uh, there's actually something interesting about that that I'd like to talk about in this video, but we'll get to that bridge when we cross it. Third thing is I'm going to turn off DLC maps for maybe a couple videos, just so that um, we get a little bit more... I get, it's sad that I'm turning them off to get more variety, but for real, I'm turning them off to get more variety. Uh, a lot of requests, uh, I still have to work my way through. Believe me, I've noticed all the comments. If you've left a request, I will get to it, but... Um, I'm going to save those for more like episode 40, episode 50 territory for now. I'm just going to do the most requested, which is use Rosalina more, which is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm in the lobby for anyone who wants to join on me. As you can see, we got Chumchu. And we got TCWER is bad. Uh, I believe we're just waiting for une more personne to join. He's talking about me. I'm so special. Uh, so we got Ripram as well. Yipram? Yipram. As he's unable to join, unfortunate, but he will be here in the second race. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Racing with viewers is kind of interesting. I like to stream this game. It is quite fun to play a lot of in bulk. Uh, I've mentioned that a few times. That Sometimes recording four episodes all at once and just being done with it is really difficult for me. <laughs> Uh, we got Betty Boobs, we got Carrie, we got some 7,000 ranked players in here, which is kind of interesting. We also have a track that I'm decently good at front running, so this should be interesting to see. Um, yeah, I've always mentioned that uh, it's almost torture for me sometimes to have to record just like four or eight races and be done with it. Um, and I normally like to play for like three or four hours. I uh, missed a coin, that's upsetting, but missed two coins in the tunnel. Way to go, kid. You go to the tunnel and get coins, and what do you not get? Coins. It's like going to the supermarket, you're like, your mom asks you, hey, son, could you grab potatoes? And you're like, yeah, no problem, mom. And you go to the supermarket and you buy, like, carrots or something. She's like, that's great, but where are the potatoes? And you're like, oh yeah, shit, sorry. That's basically what my, uh... That's what just happened to me there. I forgot the potatoes. It's fine though. Uh, yeah, I always like to play this game in bulk. Um, I've been streaming for almost three hours. Uh, I played Splatoon for about an hour earlier on stream. Uh, trick. Awful, ugly trick there. I'll chance it. And I get the goddamn coin. Ugh. I'm trying to get a banana. But unfortunate. Um, yeah, so <laughs> I guess this is what it looks like when I'm all warmed up. Uh, as you can see, I've had a pretty decent race. Just nice clean lines, clean racing, clean hops. It's because I've been playing for uh, about, about three hours now. Yeah, if I've been streaming for three and a half and I played Splatoon for barely an hour. This, of course, being recorded on the 29th during Splatfest, but that's neither here nor there. And uh, I have quite a goddamn lead right now. This is incredible. Holy moly. I heard you like Mario Kart 8. You love to hop all about. Woo! Oh, I got pegged there by something. What hit me? Was that a red? Probably. As, uh, well, there's one race down. <laughs> In the chat, <laughs> Yipram's like, to cower, quote, this game is so easy. <laughs> Pretty much. That race made it look as such. Um... So, there's an interesting thing that happened. I'm sure most people in this lobby, or in the, hello? Um, I'm, I'm sure most people that are watching this video, as uh, here's our third, here's our third person that's in the stream. We got 
TCW ER is bad. We got Chum Chow, and we have Yip Room over there on the right. Um, thank you all for <laughs> playing with me, I suppose. Uh, I assume everyone who's watching this video, or at least most people, know who Joseph, aka Swaggleof, is. I had a decently popular Pokemon channel a while ago. Stopped uploading that now. I think he moved on to a new channel, but, you know, uh, we've remained good friends. We still chill, talk and Skype quite a lot. Uh... When I mentioned to him in, like, late July that I want to try doing a daily series on my channel, rightfully so, he laughed at me. And I'm like, yeah, you know what, whatever, whatever. I, I deserve it. I've been far from consistent so far this year. The, to the point where, from January 1st, 2015, to July 31st, 2015, I uploaded 23 videos. And he's like, dude, if you upload daily in August... That means you'll have uploaded more videos in one month than you have so far in half the year. And I'm like, yeah, you know what? You're right. And I probably won't do it. But I was so motivated to bring you guys Mario Kart 8. And I just, like I said, I just really enjoy playing the damn game. I, that was such an awful bump. Screw you, Metal Mario. Oh my god, the weight. Did you see the weight class difference there? Wow. Uh... So anyway, what the, the the moral of this story that I'm trying to say to you right now is we ended up having a bit of a bet. Also, I'm going up on the walls. I've decided to stop taking Toad's Turnpike so seriously. I realize it's a terrible course, and basically every time it comes up, I'm just going to mess around on it. And whatever spot I get, I get. I also just fucking smart bounced myself. Cool, cool. Uh, so me and Joe, we did one of them friendly gentleman bets where... Uh, no real wager is at stake, but you're going to make the other person look like a f Fuck off, everyone, please. Holy shit. You're going to make the other person look like a fool. Holy man. Uh, if you lose. So basically, the stakes at stake... Uh, what was at stake was... That was a really good usage of a crazy eight, by the way. Uh, what was at stake was, if I was unable to do daily uploads for the month of August, I had to sing and upload, America, fuck yeah, which, uh, I was down to do, whatever, man. Would have been, would have been funny, right? If Joe lost, and I did manage to upload daily, which, if this video makes it out on time, is the case, uh... That's me. Uh, if this video does make it out on time, and this will be the 31st episode daily for the month of August, he has to upload and sing a video of him saying, singing Oh Canada, which should be pretty funny to watch. Uh, as you can tell, quite patriotic to our own nations. Uh, <laughs> I, I dislike how Canada doesn't have one of the, like, obviously America has their national anthem, and they have, like, America, fuck yeah, and all that stuff. Canada has, like, folk songs about hockey. We have the good old hockey game. We have T Stomp and Tom with, uh, or is Stomp and Tom the good old hockey game? Uh, whatever. That's way too Canadian for anyone watching. Regardless, uh, I'm gonna link, whoa. Uh, I'm gonna link Joe down below. You should all go check out his channel. I'm gonna make sure that he tries to upload that. I'm gonna try to make sure, rather. Um, should be pretty funny. Anyway. <laughs> Dull Sand in the chat says, make Swaggler buy a pro controller if you win. <laughs> that would have been also a pretty good, uh, good, pretty good stake. Because I know Joseph, all he plays is, uh, Smash pretty much on his Wii U. I don't, I think he went out and finally bought Mario Kart 8, but that would, that would have also been quite funny. As we got Joey in here, damn dude, what happened? We got Dazaruk and Joey who both joined on me, uh, not too long ago, uh, <laughs> Uh, I was streaming, but I'll, I was streaming on my account, the Canadian Wi-Fi, my Nintendo Network ID. But, uh, I wasn't doing Worldwides because I didn't want to affect my point total. So I was just doing the Mario Kart 8 World Tournament, which is basically uh, play online for free with no repercussions. And uh, I like playing on there a lot. It's where I test out stuff online, etc. Um, this has been an atrocious start to Shy Guy Falls, by the way.
And uh, those two are both racing with me, and I guess they left the lobby once they saw I left, and uh, they joined on me, which is kind of neat. And they both have over 10,000 points, and I was kind of schooling them, so, you know, point totals don't mean much. Uh, this is, by the way, the first time we are going to play Shy Guy Falls. Look what I just did right there, guys. Boosted tricking. I have been wanting, I've been waiting so long to be able to show that off. I'm like... Man, I can't wait to get Shy Guy Falls. The music is awesome. The track is fun. Oh, wait. We're never going to get it if the DLC is included. So. This is a fun track, I have to say. Uh, you can hop up this waterfall section because obviously it's uphill and there are boost panels. Fire hopping is going to really help you out. And then because this is anti-grav, uh, you can hop downhill. Uh, <laughs> welcome to Mario Kart 8. Hopping downhill is terrible unless you're on anti-grav. And even then... Oh, stay in the air. Okay. Uh, as I've said earlier, and I've mentioned before, if you're in the air when you get hit by a blue shell, uh, it does less damage. Okay, so if you aren't small, what you do there is uh, you drift around the corner. Also, hold this drift until right here. It's a lot faster. Don't know why. It just is. Um, words? I can't speak them. I'm gonna rely on my Twitch chat after this. And I'm once again small, dude. There's lightning two laps in a row there. Can I get big? Can I get big? No. You guys all saw what I'm talking about, though. Go back to lap one. Shout out to Chumchu, who actually came second. Who's in the stream with me. That's pretty awesome. Uh, <laughs> this has been a good road to 10,000. Uh, I think I'm actually... I think this will be the second episode in a row where I record more if I record more than four. But, uh... I think I'm going to do like a five, a five episode thing. You know what? It is a special occasion. I know people have been asking me to do longer ones for special occasions. I, I've just done daily uploads for an entire month, dude. That's pretty special. Um, but yeah, uh, turning off the DLC is actually a very subtle but awesome idea that I had where it allows us to get tracks we haven't played on yet, including but not limited to Mount Wario, which if we get right now, I'd be over the bloody moon. Uh, I have been time trialing this track for like the last three days in my spare time and I've gotten to world record pace on section one Which is awesome. It's fun As I uh, should start reading the twitch chat a little bit more. I mean I am streaming but Richard you're always small Kappa. Yeah, you're right Anyway, so yeah, I've, I went over pretty much everything I wanted to go over in this episode so far, so let's just enjoy Mount Wario, shall we? Alright, so at the starting boost here, you want to jump and drift off that. I got a low ramp, which is actually a lot faster. Two mini turbos, release your mini turbo there. Go down into that groove, because it propels you forward. Get a boosted trick over that ramp. Come over here, release that, and drift off that. And do a low slide, then two regular slides. Right there. All of these hops, by the way, have to be slides, not hops, because we're going downhill and not anti-grav. And normally, you have to do a wall clip there with a mushroom. But luckily, because I don't have a mushroom, I'm not obligated to show you. Um, and yeah, that's, that's how you do that. Always, please, people, learn how to drift off that section there. I literally cringe when I see people taking the glider there on Mount Wario. It's so, so, so much slower. Um, I could actually get a really good lap here. Uh, so I just got three boost panels. Drift off this. And then, even if you don't have a mushroom, it's actually faster in worldwide races to come up that glider. Which is interesting. Um, I'm going to take the easy way out in the trees. Which is to go around that first tree and not try to go in between it and the wall. Release that really late, and you'll jump right over that second ramp. Uh, watch out for lap 3 shock, because there's always a shock on lap 3 here for some reason. Charge one more mini turbo. 
Get all your tricks. There's the shock. I, t <laughs> I told you, dude. I know this track, like, worldwide-wise. A lot more than I know any other track, just for how long I've spent on it. Ah. And then, of course, there are the Section 3 Mount Wario hops. Where, you know what? I'm tempted to honestly include a video of them. Also, I don't know what happened to my glider there, but it just kind of dropped out of the sky. And I really failed that ending. But yeah. That's Mount Wario, guys. What a fun track. Oh my goodness. <sighs> if I could play nothing but Mount Wario for the rest of my life, <laughs> I totally would. Uh, so we got uh, Yipram in second, and Chumchu in third. That's incredible. Congrats to my, my people on the stream. As uh, I believe, what are, what are we at right now? 17 minutes on the live plus recording. I don't actually remember. How many races has this been, guys? Shy Guy Falls, Mount Wario. Uh, 